<coughs> Hi. Uh, well, the Affordable Care Act's here. Obamacare is officially kicked in, and it is operational. Um, uh, like many Americans, I hopped online and took a peekaboo at it. Um, even though I have insurance, um, I was just curious. Um, and uh, it's well, it's been kind of interesting. Uh, the amount of people um, going to the website has been kind of astronomical, leading to um, well, the collapse of the websites. So the websites are having a hard time uh, functioning. Um, would I kind of I I figured the federal website would have some issues just because um, so many states decided to be dicks and not do anything at all, so they didn't even create exchanges for themselves. So they just relied on the federal government to do it, uh, which means uh, numerous states are going through the federal website. Um, so I, I, you know, that's millions and millions of Americans um, uh, going through just the federal website. Um, so I, you know, I was expecting delays on that. Um, I'm surprised to see delays on state level insurance because of such high volume of people going to it, um, including my own state of Idaho, because. Um, uh, uh, Idaho um, has a you know a population of like uh, uh, let's see what was it 1.5 uh, 1.5 million yeah a little bit over a little bit over uh, um, a little bit over a million people um, so you know there's not that many people living in the state um, but even our uh, uh, healthcare exchange websites experiencing delays because of high volume. Um, that's interesting. Um, I, uh, I mean, the question is: Is it just uh, curiosity, or is it you know that many Americans uh, attempting to sign up for health insurance? Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty interesting. Um, so far, uh, you know, there's not too much news. Uh, you know, of course, it's day one, so you don't know. Um, but the amount of people going onto these websites, I mean, that's an indicator of yeah, Republicans are probably going to have a pretty hard time here in 2014. <laughs> um, I'm going to be providing a bunch of links. Um, uh, one link. Uh, uh, I, I've been trying to get more local links, um, just because I live in Idaho, so I might as well. Um, uh, it was like uh, one was from the Spokane Review, um, and I, you know, I read that, and I was just like, "Wait a minute, what?" Uh, I mean, it talks about how the poor people are getting screwed. We'll get screwed under the Idaho um, exchange system, uh, which I already talked about. I, you know, I already knew about that because Idaho refused to do the expansion of Medicaid. Um, I don't, well, I was looking cause you know, they were saying stuff like, uh, people could get insurance for like $18 a month. I mean, with federal subsidies. I mean, if that's true, wow, like, wow. Um, I mean, wow! I, I was gonna go online and screw around with the the healthcare law just to see uh, the type of uh, insurances that existed based off of income, um, but um, I think I'll wait just because uh, of the delays of the because um, there's so many damn people <laughs> went on to it. Um, I just wasn't expecting that for our state-based exchange, but you know, dang, that's a lot. I mean. Did, that many people going and slowing down the website that's kind of amazing um so yeah um and of course the government shut down so we're in a state of anarchy <laughs> um which is funny because you know like i said obamacare wasn't going to be affected by that so i mean that's just like like again political political suicide for the republicans i don't know what they were thinking um uh if the Affordable Care Act, uh, I mean, like the Spokane uh, reviews uh, and, and analysis of the law, um, I mean, if that's correct, sh good God, the Republicans will never be elected again, um, ever. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, wow, eighteen dollars, eighteen dollars a month for health insurance. I, I don't know. like, I mean, they're journalists, so obviously they're going to be more informed than myself um, in, in terms of research. Um, I'm, I'm finding a, I'm finding a hard time finding just actual reliable information on it. Um, but yeah, anyhow, the, the websites are being overwhelmed. Um, millions upon millions of Americans are apparently applying for health insurance. So in a couple days here, uh, man, this might be faster than uh, uh, I anticipated. Um, we might actually see a political shift just in a few days because of this law. Um, wow, $18. I mean, granted, the I mean, read the article. You'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, that that, that figure just surprised me because it's just like, dang, that's that's really affordable. <laughs> um, I'm also providing um, a Wikipedia link to my state, so just I mean, I'm just, mostly I did it for the population because you know I wasn't actually positive what the population of my state was. It shows how informed I am, but. Uh, I had to look it up, um, you know, because I'm just surprised that the Idaho Exchange is uh, experiencing such volume. Um, anyhow, that's down there too. If you want to look at that, uh, a bunch of stories on uh, on on the on the delays, uh, the glitches, and the the healthcare system, um, mostly because there's so many damn people going on. So I mean, I don't know about that. Um, that's interesting. Uh, we might be bearing witness to a massive political shift in this country. Um, I, you know, I talked about it earlier, but I mean, if the Spokane Review's um, article is correct, it, it would be a massive shift. My state might go blue. <laughs> like, dang. Um, I don't know. We'll see what we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave the links down below. Um, day one of the Affordable Care Act. Um, been interesting. Um, I'll throw uh, another video up sooner or later, uh, a few more days on, on the healthcare law, just to give uh, an idea how things are working. I mean, after all, it is day one, so you don't know. Um, but yeah, judging from these articles, um, an interesting day.